it's Retro 90s Dave here. So back in the 1990s, people were looking for things. All kinds of things. Don't remember what? I do. So let's go get retro. Retro 90s Dave. A popular line of books were hidden picture books, which allowed people to see a 3D image by staring at a 2D pattern on a page. Look, a sailboat! The books became so popular that the kids of the 90s would stare at it for hours. Can you imagine the kids of today doing something like that? Bogus! Another popular line of books were the Where's Waldo books. In these books, readers are supposed to find a four-eyed hipster named Waldo hidden within the page's illustrations. After years of practice, let's just say I've become an expert at finding Waldo. Found Waldo. Found Waldo. Found Geraldo. Found Waldo. Found Waldo. Found Waldo. <sighs> Found Waldo. Found Waldo. The books inspired TV shows, video games, even comic strips. It seems like everybody was looking for Waldo. Except, of course, if you are an inmate in a Texas prison where the books are currently being banned. Now that I'm in my 40s, you'll probably hear me ask, where in the world are my car keys? But back in the 90s, I was asking, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? This popular line of computer games had kids going on missions to find out in what country the world-renowned thief Carmen San Diego was. Now with GPS tracking, finding Carmen San Diego is quicker than ever. Found her. She's in Bali. I'm gonna go take a nap. All this talk about finding things has got me thinking. What should we spend our times looking for? What does the Bible say about it? Matthew 6:33. Jesus tells us to seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Join me next time on Retro 90s Day, where we talk about 90s toys, where it was Nerf or nothing. Found Waldo.